the march to death in Sachsenhausen concentration camp. Inmates of the camp walked 40 kilometers a day to check the strength of shoes and drugs. The experiment received consent from the German Ministry of War. It was a grueling sunny day in Sachsenhausen concentration camp 40 kilometers from Berlin. Inmates of the camp walked around a track as SS men looked over them. Some fainted, some carry on. They are guinea pigs for the experiments of shoe and drug manufacturers in Germany. History has come to haunt these companies recently. Concentration Camps After the rise of the National Socialist Party or Nazi Party Germany fell into chaos. Nazi Party started to corner and dehumanize the non-Aryan community like Jews, Communists, and Gypsies as per their doctrine. The Nazi government set up concentration camps to house members of these communities. Initially, the Nazi Party set up only a few camps in Germany, but soon it got filled up. The Nazi government wanted to exterminate them, but the industrial minds of Nazi Germany had other ideas. These ideas made its way to the gates of concentration camps as the gates displayed the motto Arbeit macht frei. Which meant that work will set you free. As the German war machine moved into Austria, Czech, and Poland, more concentration camps were started and held minorities as prisoners. As seen in the famous movie Schindler List, these concentration camp inmates were equal to free labor for Germany, especially for the war profiteers. The concentration camps were under SS control, so the industries were ready to pay to utilize the prisoners. The SS profited from the business and killed prisoners who were weak to work. For example, the SS used concentration camp inmates to construct the famous steps in the Mauthausen camp. The majority of the prisoners worked in factories as cheap laborers, but some found work within the camp. The Shoe Experiment The Blitzkrieg methodology fueled the German war machine. Blitzkrieg meant a swift attack by panzers, tanks, which had infantry backup. The panzers needed fuel and spare parts for Blitzkrieg, but the infantry required good shoes to withstand the arduous walk in the war front. The boots needed to be perfect, so that it is not worn out during the war as the supply chain will be under strain. The Nazi Ministry for Industry constructed a special track in the Sachsenhausen concentration camp to check army shoes endurance. The track was a 700-meter track with cobblestones, chipping, gravel, rocky, muddy, and a clay-soaked segment. Inmates were selected to walk on the track for days until their shoes came off. An inmate should cover 40 kilometers in a day. If an inmate walks for an entire day, the SS guards received a special incentive of six Raya marks. The prisoners walked under the grueling sun, and the SS guards ensured that the pace is maintained. After a few batches of the test, a 25-pound bag was given to the inmates to simulate the war front situation. Some inmates got shoes of the wrong size or wore the shoe in the wrong feet. Many inmates collapsed to death during the endless march. Estimates indicate that about 20 people died every day in the track. The SS called it death by work. The Miracle Drug Experiment The same shoe walking group was used by the German Navy to experiment on their miracle drug. As Germany started to lose the war, Hitler asked Admiral Karl Dunitz to come up with a miracle weapon to save the war. The German Navy designed and developed tiny U-boats, submarines, but it needed sailors who should stay awake for four days to attack Britain. Though drugs were common in the German army, they can keep soldiers awake for two or three days. After that, fatigue set in. The Navy doctors now had a cocktail of drugs like cocaine, pervertin, etc. They wanted to know the perfect composition of these drugs to create the miracle drug. The concentration camp inmates received injection with various cocktails of the drugs, and the SS forced them to march. Some fainted on the effects of drugs. One inmate walked 96 kilometers without a break on drugs. The next batch of inmates got a target to walk 96 kilometers but with a 25-pound bag. 
German shoe and rubber manufacturing companies faced lawsuits for the utilization of concentration camp inmates for such experiments. The companies brushed aside the allegations and state that the initial founders no longer run the companies. Torture and subsequent murder of fellow human beings in scientific research are the peaks of cruelty in the Second World War.